Well, aloha, friends, and welcome to the midweek update for February 22nd in the year 2023. I'm Pastor Tal Lewis, and I come to you today from the lobby. Some think, ugh, lobby, how exciting. But I can tell you there's a lot of exciting things that happen in this lobby. From the time we walk in to prepare for worship and other activities, we check in at the connection stable, the welcome center, coffee fellowship area, just saying. A lot of things happen in this lobby. Now, I'm here today to invite you to several things. First of all, welcome to the season of Lent, and specifically welcome to Ash Wednesday. Not to be confused with Lent, the stuff you are supposed to clean out of your dryer. Lent is a season of 40 days, not counting Sundays, which begins on Ash Wednesday and ends on Holy Saturday. The English word Lent comes from the word lengthen, which means to lengthen and refers to the lengthening of the days as we move into spring. And I don't know if you've noticed, but the days are getting longer, and for that I say thanks be to God. The season of Lent, specifically, is a season of preparation for the celebration that is Easter. It is an intentional time to prepare our hearts. It's an intentional time to set aside some things or step aside from some things that maybe occupy too much of our time or that keep us from having a deeper walk with God. So my encouragement to you during the season of Lent is to be intentional about your faith development. Maybe uh, turn off the screens for a little bit longer during the day and spend a little more time in, in quiet reflection. Take a walk. Enjoy God's word. Uh, spend some more time in prayer. Be intentional about those faith formation parts of your life. That as we, so that as we near Easter, we would be all the more ready uh, to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Again, we've got a 40-day season to do that, and I hope you'll take full advantage of those opportunities. Our season of Lent begins this evening at our Ash Wednesday service, Wednesday, February 22nd, just in case you're not listening to this on Wednesday. That service will begin at 7 o'clock p.m. Uh, and will include a brief message along with communion in the imposition of ashes in the shape of a cross on our forehead, which is a mark of our own mortality. A reminder once again, friends, that this life is preparation for the next life. This life is preparation for eternity. And unless the Lord returns, we will all one day die physically. But we hopefully will live forever spiritually in God's presence. Then beyond Ash Wednesday, we continue into the Lenten season on Sunday with a series entitled, Big Hint, The Resurrected Life. The Resurrected Life. As we look at the difference that Easter and resurrection makes in the lives that we live. This Sunday, we'll look at the theme of overcoming fear and doubt. Overcoming fear and doubt, with our text being from Revelation chapter 21, verses 1 through 7. An important part of this series, friends, will be the corresponding small group opportunities with various groups meeting throughout the week. You can sign up for one of those groups uh, tonight when you're here for Ash Wednesday or on Sunday morning when you're here for worship or anytime you're in the building. You can find those sign-up sheets right over there at the Connections table. Other forthcoming opportunities for mission and service include the following. Hang on, it's going to be a fast ride. On March 5th, uh, you can sign up now for the March 5th Youth Chili Cook-Off and Dessert Auction. I'm not a big chili fan, but I love me some dessert. You can sign up now to bring your chili, to bring your dessert, and be a part of that fundraiser for the youth mission trip that will be this summer. Also know that an all-church gathering with a soup and salad lunch, another thumbs up, that has been scheduled for Sunday, March 12th at 1145 at the conclusion of our second uh, worship service. Several important things happening that morning along with lunch. Um, some, some detailed information to share with you about uh, things coming up in the church and also a vote on the refinancing of our mortgage. Leadership board needs church approval to do that. So that will be a part of that sharing time as well. Vortex Pizza Fundraiser orders are being taking, not taken now through March 19th. Again, see the connections table. You can also see the connection stable for the Saturday, March 18th Rice Meal Mission Project. Uh, I'll be assembling uh, several thousand rice bags again, and you can sign up right over there at that same table. And then friends, let me close with an invitation to summer camp. 
an invitation for you, for your kids, for your grandkids, for your nieces, your nephews, your neighbors, uh, with parental permission, of course. Um, our United Methodist Church camps, summer camps, have a lot to offer uh, for all of those children and youth, grades first up through age 20, uh, for, so even for some of our older youth, opportunities that go all summer long. The first early bird deadline is March 15th, so the sooner you sign up, the sooner you register, the more money you can save. These information packets right here can be found at the Welcome Center and also upstairs outside of Patty's office door. And you can also find all the information about camps that you need at EOC, I'll say that again, EOCSummerCamps.org, EOCSummerCamps.org. I'd love to see Medina United Methodist Church send 15 to 20 kids to camp this summer. And I hope your kids, your nieces, your nephews, your grandkids would be a part of that. If you have any questions about camps, talk to Patty, talk to myself, pick up a brochure, do a little research. We'll help you in any way that we can. Uh, we would just love to see that happen for your kids. Well, that's all I've got for you today, friends. God bless you. God bless your day, and we hope to see you this evening, 7 o'clock, for our Ash Wednesday service tonight. God bless.